Hello friends, welcome to the video series on Oracle date and its related functionality. As a continuation of that, in this video, we are going to learn about what is interval data type and to be specific, we are going to learn about year to month data type in this video. And then we will learn how to declare a variable of this type and how to populate a literal value into a year to month variable and how to create a table with this data type and how to populate a value and few additional functionalities like how to do arithmetical and comparison on top of a year to month data type. Let us start with what is interval data type and what are all the types of data type available under this interval data type. So before that, let us see one simple scenario. Suppose if an employee is working in an organization or if his contract period starts from 1st Jan 2023 and his service ends on 31st July 2024. If I want to capture these type of information, generally what we will do, we'll create a table which can hold like employee name, employee number and his service start date and his service end date. So typically these kinds of scenario will create a column which is of date data type so that it can capture the start date and end date. But suppose if someone is asking what is the duration of his stay in an organization? Then generally what we will do, we'll subtract these two dates to find out how many number of days exist between these two period and then generally we'll try to convert that into either a number of years or month. Then we'll say that this person is working in an organization for past like one year, six months or two months or three months or whatever, right? To achieve these kind of functionality, to capture the duration between two date or two time period, we have this data type called interval data type. Basically the interval data type will help us to capture the duration between to specific date or to specific time period. So until Oracle 23C database, Oracle has actually provided two types of interval data type that is interval year to month and interval day to second. Basically interval year to month will help us to store the duration in terms of year and month and interval day to second will help us to store the duration in terms of days, hours, minutes and second and in fact in fractional seconds also. Okay, where exactly these type of interval data type can be used? So here are a few scenarios which can be used. For example, if you want to represent a duration of a service in an organization, if you want to say what is the duration of a course, generally we'll call the duration or generally we'll say the duration of course something like it's a three month course or a six month course or one and a half year course or like one year, nine month course, something like that. And whenever we want to represent the duration of a project or if you want to represent the duration of a rental agreement, or a loan tenure or whenever we are taking a subscription of like OTT platform or any online subscription or whatever the subscription it may be. Generally it will have a start time and an end time and generally we'll say that this subscription is valid for this many number of years and month. So whenever we want to represent a duration then we can use this interval data type. Right. Now let us see how to define a variable or how to define a column of this data type and then we'll see how to assign a value or a literal value to a variable and then how to populate into a table. So before that, let us see quickly the snippet of Oracle documentation. As you can see here, the interval year to month stores a period of time using year and month date time field. This data type is useful for representing the difference between two different time values when only the year and month values are significant. Okay, so here is the syntax whenever we want to define a column or a variable. So we need to explicitly say these keywords like interval, year, then we need to give an optional precision. If you are not giving any precision value by default, the year precision is two. That means an interval year to month can store a maximum of 99 years time duration. But if you want to store more than that, then we need to explicitly specify the year precision here. Fine. Now let us see few example but before that let me just quickly show you one example here itself. So this is the table which I have shown on how to populate a value. Suppose if I want to capture the duration as it is then what we need to do is we need to create one more column called duration of say which is of interval year to month data type. So we need to say exactly all the keywords like interval year to month. Here I didn't specify any uh, precision here. So Oracle will consider two as the precision when you create a table like this. And after that, if you try to describe the table, you will be able to see the interval year to month. And here you can see that 
the two is represented or year of two that means whenever you are not specifying any year precision by default uh, two will be considered if you want to store more than 99 years of duration then we need to explicitly specify the uh, digits here like year of three or year of four like after that we can store a duration something like this so the duration will have two component one is a year component and another is a month component so here is the syntax to store or define a literal value we need to exactly follow the same syntax it will start with a keyword called interval followed by a single quote and followed by one integer and followed by one iPhone and followed by another integer the first if you are representing both the integers the first integer represent the year and the second integer represent the month in that case suppose if you are representing both year and month then we need to say year and month otherwise if i am representing the interval only in terms of year then we need to just say the integer followed by year otherwise if i am representing the interval only in terms of month then we need to just say interval and month and followed by the month keyword so in this case year to month is the only valid combination year to year or month to month is not a valid combination let us see with few examples now so that it is easy for us to understand better so let us first write a simple interval so i am saying interval i need to say first i am saying like one year six months as i mentioned first we need to say the interval keyword followed by a single quote followed by the integer the first integer represents the year component followed by an iphone and followed by a month component and then we need to say what is the component i have mentioned here i need to say year to month from dual this is our first example okay so the interval can be a positive interval or negative interval so we can explicitly specify plus here to represent this as a positive even if you are not representing the plus symbol here by default oracle will consider it as a positive interval suppose if i want to make it as a negative interval then we need to put a minus here now this is our negative interval of like or negative duration of like one year six months okay now let's see one more example suppose so in this case i am representing just only one year suppose if i want to say that 150 years of duration so instead of one let us say 150 okay now let me try to execute it you will get an error saying that the leading precision of interval is too small as i already told by default the year precision is only two that means this interval data type can store a maximum of 99 years duration if you want to represent more than that something like 150 or 200 or 9900 whatever right then we need to explicitly spe specify the precision let me make it as four here now let me execute it right now we are representing an interval of like 150 years and six months right now let us see one more example like we can even represent only the year also for example i am representing only let's say 21 years right then it will display like 21 years zero month similar to that we can even represent only the month let us say i want to represent six months so then we need to say six month so in this case it is zero year six month now let's see one more example instead of six month i am saying 14 month so what oracle will do it will convert this 14 month into one year two month so the first 12 months will be converted into one year followed by the remaining two months right let's see one more example so i'm just saying like 25 months so this will be converted into two year one month so we can represent all these things so here also we can represent as a negative duration for example minus 25 month means it is minus two year one month right now let us see how to uh, declare a column of this data type and how to populate a value so i'm creating a table called t before that let me just drop it so now i'm creating a table called t with a column of interval year to month data type now the table is created see i have not mentioned any precision here so now let me try to describe the table now if you see here by default the year precision of two will be considered suppose if you want to store more than 99 years of duration then this is not uh, this will not serve our purpose let me try to insert a value here 
insert into t values of then we need to exact we need to say exactly the same format let's say interval of one year six months something like this i'm trying to insert right one row is inserted let us query from the table now now you can see that an interval of like one year six months is inserted let us try to insert one more uh, value here i'm trying to insert an interval of 25 month interval of minus 25 month right one more row is inserted now you can see here the second row is like my negative duration of two years one month because we try to insert 25 month the 25 month is actually converted into two year and one month right now let us try to insert one more interval which is of 200 years 200 year right so obviously we'll get an error because i have created the table with the default year precision of two but here we are trying to insert more than two digits for the year so let me just drop this table and recreate the table with year precision of four now the table is created now i am trying to insert the 200 so let us make the precision as year of four right now the data is inserted now let me just query from the table right now 200 year is inserted right so here are few more examples so instead of specifying like interval uh, and the value followed by year to month we can directly specify something like this also for example i want to insert a value of 10 year 11 months right? and i want to insert a value of 200 year 24 months or let's say 200 year 12 months this is not a valid because we can populate the valid month from uh, 0 to 11 only whenever we say 12 months it will be converted into one year for example as i already told let's take this example so if i say 12 month it will be converted into one year so 12 is not a valid value here we can either say 0 0 or we can say till 11 so in this case let us try to insert 200 year 11 month and now let us query from the table so now we have seen like 200 years and 11 month is inserted so very similar to this we can even do some arithmetical and comparison operators on top of the interval year to month data type let us see a few examples for that so now let us see a few examples for arithmetical operation so i have an interval of like one year two months we can very similar to our date plus arithmetic right for example generally we can do like this date plus 10 from dual what this will do is this will actually add 10 days to the current system date very similar to this we can even do arithmetical operation on interval data type also so here what i'm going to do i'm just going to add two intervals so the first interval is like one year two months so let us add one more interval so what i'm going to do i'm just going to add one year two months and again like one year two months so obviously this will become like two year four months let us see one more example so now what I'm going to do one year, two months. So I'm just adding one year, two months to one year, 11 month. So in this case, it becomes three year, one month, right? Very similar to our uh, addition. We can even do subtraction also. Let us do one example. I'm subtracting like one year, two months to one year. Okay, I'm subtracting like this. So we will get a positive duration of two months. Suppose if we subtract like one year, two months to one year, six months, we will get the difference in terms of negative duration. So in this case, we will get minus four months. Okay, very similar to this, we can even do some multiplication and division also. Let's see on one example. So in this case, I have like one year, two months. I'm just going to multiply by two. So this will become two year, four months. I'm, I'm going to multiply by three and this will become three year six months and similar to this even we can do the division so let me divide one year two months by two and we will get an output like seven months because one year two months is nothing but 14 month 14 months we are dividing in by two and so that we will get a seven month okay now let us see few more example in a pl sql so here what i have actually done is i have declared two variable like interval one and interval two interval one i have assigned like one year six month 
and in interval 2 I have assigned 6 months. Let us do some comparison here. So very similar to our numerical comparison, we can even compare two interval data types. For example, I can say if interval 1 greater than interval 2, then let us print EBMS output put underscore line. Let me say interval 1 greater than interval 2. Else, let me say the reverse interval 1, interval 1 is less than interval 2. Right. Let me execute this program. Now you can see here we are trying to compare two interval variables. So in this case interval 1 is greater than interval 2. Okay. Very similar to our um, null values in numerics and other data types. Right. Even in this case when there is a null value for an interval and if you are trying to do an arithmetical operation and we will get a null output. Let me show you an example. Let us create one more interval data type called 3. And what I'm going, I'm just going to leave it as null. Okay. Now I'm going to add interval one and interval two. Select interval one plus interval two into the third variable from dual. Let me print the interval three alone. Right. Okay, first let us not put a null value. Let me just put uh, like one year six months plus one year eight months. Let us try to execute this program now. So we will get an output like three year two months because we are trying to add one year six months and one year eight months. We got the output as like three year two month. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make the second interval variable as null value. Let me try to execute this program. Now you see we just got a null because a null an arithmetical operation on null with any other value will result in null this is the fact for uh, numerical values also and this is exactly the same for interval data types also right to handle this what we can do is we can use the nvl function here also i'm using nvl of i'm just going to say if it is null consider zero year zero month something like this okay now let me execute this program again so now we got like like one year six month is added to a null variable since it is null nvl function will return zero so uh, the arithmetical operation goes like this like one year six months plus zero year zero month so we got the output as like one year six months if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video